Hello Techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about automation in a very practical question for interview. And this is exercise 16. I hope you have watched all other interview scenarios also. And this exercise 16 is very, very important question because this question is asked in top MNC companies like PwC, Cognizant, KPMG, Bactali and Accenture. So that's why very important if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because in future you will get more interview scenarios, question and practical questions and AI related questions. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the first notification to you. So directly we will go to the question and very important question. There is a question like we have a two list variable L first list and L second list. First list having the number in the uh, number variable like one, two, three values, and second list having the character values like A, B, C. And we have to show the message box as A1, comma B1, B2, comma C3. If you clearly observe here, what is exactly we need? We need A plus one, B plus two, and C plus three, right? Combination. We need a combination of list variables list values right second list plus first list and there is a note they have given you can use only one loop so more than one loop we should not use it this that is a condition from the interviewer how we can achieve through automation anywhere directly we can't add in the automation anywhere so we have to develop the logics right how we can do the logic we will directly go to our workbench and we will see and this is very important question as I told this question is asked in top MNC company that's why don't skip the video please watch till the end without any skipping okay and your comments are very much welcome because your feedback is important to me to do next video right please comment on the video hit the like button that is very much important okay directly we will go to our question so first what we have to do first we need to create a variable right two list variable we have to create what is the list type i will take a list what is the subtype the first list variable having the subtype integer means number right so now i will take a l first list okay first list is my number subtype okay what is the number we have to add it one two and three totally we have a two indexes like zero one two length of the index is three so directly i will create it okay what is the second list second list is a string subtype right a b c we have string subtype here i will take it l second list okay what is the list value a B and C. So our input is ready now. So what we have to do next? As per the question, we have to combine and show A1 comma B2 comma C3 in the message box, right? And we can use one loop. That is also condition. So directly I will take a loop and I will show you how we can do the logic. In the loop, instead of n time, just search as a list. And you will get one option for each item in the list double click on that and take any of the list l first list also fine l second list also fine because both having the same length right so i will take a first list and assign into some variable okay l list item and save so now our loop is ready only one loop we have to use please make sure please be in a mind okay so now what I have to do? We have to create one counter variable with a number. Okay, number type n counter. And make sure default value should be 0. Okay, I will take it as 0. So now what we have to do? Now we have to take a list in the action. Inside the list, we have one option called get item just drag and drop 
because we have to get each and every value from the list right how we can get the value the first thing is we have to take the l first list okay this is a number subtype you can see here the symbol is number right what is the index number you have to take it see already we have created a counter what is the default value of the counter now in the first iteration zero right that because why we have to take the zero if you observe carefully here always our index value start from zero for the list right this this is zero this is one okay sorry just i will clear and i will show you back so a is zeroth index b is first index and c is second index right same thing we have to apply here what is the index number i i need to take n counter because in the first counter i will have a zeroth index and this value i need to store it in number type because we are taking the number list right so that's why what i will do this is actually a index value right number index value i will take it as n index value why i am keeping it keeping it as a n in the prefix because this is a best practice whenever we will create a number type variable we have to mention small letter n if you are taking the string s boolean b like that we have to make sure we are in the best practices okay so just i am creating now assigning my first index value in n index value so what is next the same way i will take get item for the second list first list i have taken for the second list i need to take it second list is a string subtype and what is the index value i need to take it in the first iteration i need to take the zero index that's why n counter still my counter value is not incremented if you see here not incremented right i have not given any in incrementation so default value is zero it will take a zero only so next where i have to save it save in type string yes index value right s index value create it so now you have first list with a n index value second list with a s index value now what we have to do we have to combine right we have to combine both the indexes values right a1 b2 and c3 like this we have to show for that what i will do i will take a assign action don't skip the video this is very important okay don't skip the video so directly i will assign take the assign and take s list value or index value s index value because why we are taking s index value first it is showing a1 a1 means second list value second list value is stored in s index value so next what i have to do n index value n index value is first list value right but we are it is showing as a error because it is a number variable we have to convert into yes two string so now i am creating the to string and i will save this particular uh, output in one of the output string as result because this is my result right take the result and create and save but clearly observe our question they have mentioned very intelligently like we have to show them a1 comma b2 comma c3 so we have to introduce a comma also in between right that is very much important how we can introduce that one so already we have a s result that one i will introduce here s result because each and every iteration i need to add a s result and what i will do i will add a comma after the s result and save it now take the message box it is not over okay take the message box and keep it outside the loop because we have to show combined value of string right a1 comma b2 comma c3 so that's why i will take a message box after the loop after everything is combined i will show in a message box s result and now if i run the bot 
so you will get half of the result it is not over okay that's why don't skip the video please watch till the end so you will get exactly what we have to do this is very much important very very important question why we are getting a1 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 because if you observe carefully here i am i am not incrementing my counter right where i have to increment after the string assignment i will take again assign and number assign and take after or before not a matter so here i need to increment my n counter value because in the first iteration i will have a zero next iteration i need to get a one right and i will again in the index okay now i will run the bot is bot is completely co over no we will get another catch here okay we will see the output then i will tell you what is the catch see i got the value a1 comma b2 comma c3 but if you observe carefully one comma is added at the first how we can remove that one because in the output they have told clearly we have to get a1 comma not comma a1 right this is very much important so you have to go back to your question so here what you will do before the message box take a string go to the action string <clears throat> In string option, you have a extract text. Okay, drag and drop that extract text before the message box and after the loop carefully. Okay, not inside the loop after the loop. And what is the source? S result. And start after the text. This will yes, this will work because I need to start my text after the comma because we are getting a comma right first so a comma i need to remove and first occurrences comma of first occurrences and i will save this particular s result in same s result now if i run the bot so we will get a result as See, a1, comma b2, comma c3. Exactly what they have given in the question. That one only we have implemented, right? A1, please observe carefully. A1, comma b2, comma c3. So this is very, very important question. So that's why please try in your computer or laptop and don't skip the videos. Please watch all other interviews in ours also. And don't skip a subscribe button please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you and please comment on the video happy learning if you have any question you can reach out to me from whatsapp link or linkedin link or any social media link already it is mentioned in the description thank you very much happy learning